What's poppin' and welcome back to another episode of Fletcher the Fisherman and today I am making good on the promise that I made y'all a long time ago and that is to make another fly fishing video. I haven't done it because I haven't been trying. I have tried a lot actually. I've filmed three different times trying to make a fly fishing video and I had a camera failure, a mic failure, and then just one time I just didn't catch any fish. So you know, that's just how it goes sometimes. But far as baits go, today it is winter and it is cold and you know, it's a little bit nippy out here and the bass want something a little bit more subtle and all, all that. So we're gonna be using a white streamer, just a little weighted white streamer, let it sink down and we're just gonna pop, let it sit. Pop, let it sit. You get the idea. But you know, this way, this weighted streamer is a, a little bit too heavy for the class fly rod I have. I have a fly, uh, 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 <laughs> yeah. I have a five weight and I should be throwing it on a seven or an eight weight. So we're just gonna have to make do and it's a little windy out here, not too bad right now, but there's some nice gusts coming through. So it's gonna be a little bit of challenge dealing with that. And then not to mention the fly line just loves to tangle on everything on my little fishing boat right here. It wraps around the little cleats, around my fish finder, just around everything. So I'll probably show you a little clip of that. It is, uh, it is very infuriating at times, but hopefully y'all enjoy today's episode. Enough rambling, let's go find us some fish. I know they're out here and they're ready to bite now. There's one, there's one. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, that feels like a good one. Oh, but it's been a while since I've caught one on the fly, so it's hard to tell, but first one of the day is feeling nice. Definitely dogging me a little bit. Oh, get out of those pipes, come on. Come on and up, come on up. Oh yeah, hold on. Oh yeah, this is a solid fish. I gotta pull them off this structure right here. Oh, thank you, there we go. Alrighty, <laughs> oh, it's too much fun catching these fish on the fly. He is absolutely giving me a nice tug right here. I just gotta play him in. I've been fishing with traditional tackle. I haven't picked up the fly rod in quite a while. So I'm just gotta take my time with this guy. Don't wanna lose him. Oh, come on up, come on up. Come on up. Oh, he's got a lot of strength. He is really, he is really digging in there. Come on up. Haven't got a, like a great look at him yet, but he's definitely good size. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, solid fish. Can't complain with that to start the day off. Oh, look at that. Nice, probably three and a half pounder. Great fish, right there in the corner of the mouth. Cannot complain at all, wow. Now that is what I'm talking about, guys. You cannot beat that. 10 minutes in, solid three and a half pounder on the fly. You know, I was super hesitant about coming out here and even trying the fly because the bite's been uh, kind of brutal the last few days. But sure enough, this guy uh, proved me wrong proved that the fly is indeed a viable option right now and I cannot be more ecstatic to finally get on the board with the winter fly. Let's get it. Oh, is that a fish? Oh yeah, it is fish. There we go. <laughs> that fish kind of hit on the fall right there. Not a monster, I don't think. It just seems like a fairly normal size. Oh, it's a little bit better than I thought it was. Solid fish. Come on in here, buddy. Not nearly as much energy as that last guy. He's putting up a little bit of something here at the end. He's kind of lethargic. Bring him right here to the edge of the boat. Oh, we got him. This little sucker tricked me a little bit. He hit it on the fall. I wasn't quite sure what was going on with my bait. Pulled the line tight and this guy was on there. Didn't have much fight in him. Uh, about the same size as the last fish as far as length goes, but definitely not nearly as beefy. He's more on the skinny side as far as his pond is concerned, but solid fish, we'll keep on moving.
Oh, there we go. Oh, I got fish. I was trying to get my line untangled, wrapped around my fish finder over here. And I had a little bass come up and smoke it. That is funny. Oh, come here, buddy. I think definitely the smallest one of the day. It's not putting up a big old fight. He's not tiny, though. Bring him right on over. And in he goes. Number three on the board. Pop it out. Definitely the smallest one of the day. Probably honestly weighs as much as that last fish, even though it's a significantly smaller fish uh, as far as the length goes, but it's definitely a good bit beefier. Feels about the same weight as the last one, as far as I can remember, but solid fish. Let her go real quick. Oh, <laughs> there's a fish right there. Oh my God, that's a, hold on, I'm in an awkward position. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I wasn't trying to catch that at all. I'll try to deal with my line. I had some kind of mess going on. And sure enough, this thing was just dangling in the water and this fish came up and smoked it. These fish are making it easy for me today. Get right on in here, you little buckaroo. Do a little dance for me. Oh, you're not ready. Oh, oh God, now you're all kinds of tangled up here. Let's get you on in. Chomped. Let's get him unhooked, get him back in the water and hurry up and get that lure back out there. I don't even want to let it just hang in the water. Fish might take my rod at this rate, but right up here on this new spot before I can even take a cast, I already got a fish. Uh, solid, solid. Woo Give him a little backflip action. While I love fishing with a fly rod out here on the water, it is a huge pain in the butt on my little boat because this fly line, all this madness that you see in the water hanging right there goes on all the time. And you know what that does is just cause me all sorts of problems. We have a cleat, a fish finder, pedals, rods, this little thing, this thing on this side, all kinds of stuff in my boat. I don't even know if you can see it really that well from the camera angle I'm showing y'all, but there's just all kinds of stuff for this thing to get caught up on. And it's constantly a battle to fight it and keep it from getting tangled. And I just, <laughs> you know, really giving it my all trying to fish with this fly rod for y'all because I know a lot of y'all like to see these videos, but I've got to come up with a better way to get some fly rod videos for y'all out in this boat. Uh, maybe take some of this stuff out of here when I'm trying to use the fly rod. That would definitely probably be the smarter option. Oh, that's a fish. Thought I'll snagged. <laughs> if I'll snag, that's probably a better one if it's feeling that heavy. Come on, buddy. See what you look like. Oh, oh no, he spit it. Dang it. Oh, <laughs> I did not think that was a fish at first. That was a decent sized one. Definitely one of the bigger ones today. Shoot. There's one. Nice. Came right off those rocks. Oh yeah. Got a nice tug. Don't you there, laddie. Ooh. <laughs> Man. I just cannot get enough of these bass on the fly. It is too freaking entertaining. Oh my goodness. Come on up. Oh, no, do not jump. Do not jump. I looked a little bit bigger from a distance, but a, a solid bass. Oh, yeah. Come in here. Oh, give me that leader. Yes. All right. Hand on leader. Oh, he's looked pretty good. He choked it. All the way in the back of the throat. Going to need to do a little surgery to get this out of here. Tell you what, that was a pain in the butt to get out of there. All the way back in that soft throat tissue can be a real pain in the butt to get out of there, but took my time, gave her some water, 
and got it out of there without doing any harm. She seems to be good to go, no blood, no nothing like that. Gonna live to swim another day. Let's get her back in and keep on fishing. Well, unfortunately, that last bass was my last bite, so we're gonna go ahead and wrap things on up today, but I almost forgot to do the comment, picture, and question of the day, and the question of the day today is going to be, what fishing gear do you want for Christmas? And what I want for Christmas from y'all is just one measly like. That's all I'm asking for. Just a one simple like. It costs you nothing, and it really does go a long way for me and the channel. But if you haven't already, subscribe and turn bell notifications on and as always fasten is a passion peace 